Yeah. Right, hello and welcome back to Apple Core. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a short review of the Apple leather wallet with the Find My feature. Before I begin the video, I'm just going to say I'm using my iPad to film this video because I've got my phone here. Um, so the microphone and video quality might not be good as normal. So, getting into the unboxing, we've got a lovely green pull tab. Natural leather, that's always nice. As you should expect from a a relatively uh, expensive product from Apple that's made of leather. It was quite good. Uh, doesn't seem like the easiest thing to get in. There we go. Bit unceremonious, but hey. So here's the uh, wallet and here's the documentation with some unnecessary plastic, uh, some legal shizzle. Um, and no Apple stickers because it's sort of an accessory, so don't get them with accessories. So here is the um, MagSafe wallet. So you've got the MagSafe rings uh, hidden in here, and this has also got the Find My feature. So we've got the embossed Apple logo on the front. Uh, the stitching looks really good, and I've heard that the painted edges is a, a good sign of quality. Um, I'm no leather expert, but it does seem, you know, if there's some weight to it and it feels pretty solid. So removing the uh, the card that's inside it, it was like a space holder. Um, yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, it looks nice. So if I'm going to connect it to the back of my phone, there's, there's some decent grip to it. It doesn't seem as bad as what I've seen. Um, it will come off. And, and on the bigger phone, it is uh, more of an issue, the sliding off. So when I put the MagSafe wallet on, uh, you get the pop-up here, and it says unlock to enable Find My. So we use Face ID. So I'm going to use Find My, so it will notify you when the wallet is removed from the phone, and after about a minute, so it doesn't persistently tell you. Um, it's safe you to take it off to pay for something or to use an ID card, etc. So it says locate on map, see the location where your wallet was last attached to your phone and notify when detached. So I press done. Right, yeah, so it's now in my Find My and so yeah, on the 13 Pro Max, it's, there is, this is the worst one for the MagSafe uh, wallet as there's, there's not a lot of grip with the matte surface and the, it's not very grippy back here, but it, it does an all right job. So I'm going to test it out with the uh, Spigen case I've got for this phone. Um, th this case, I'm not sure whether it was... It's not the highest quality of what I'd expect from a Spigen case, but we'll see what it's like. Yeah, it's not quite as good. Um, the It definitely doesn't seem like the, the strength is there, and this surface doesn't uh, aid it either. But now we're going to get on to what you can fit in the MagSafe wallet. Um, most people are saying three cards, so I'm going to test it out. So I've got a, a gift card here. goes in pretty nicely. There is some resistance to it uh, as you put it in, so it doesn't just slip straight in and fall out. Yeah, so three definitely feels like the maximum for this wallet um and on the that's also increased the weight so it yeah it may fall off a bit easier with this case uh the photo just on the bare phone does seem uh better than the case and um, one thing i want to test though is how well this works with cash if you say you've got two cards here you've got a credit card maybe some id if you put i don't know Roll rolling notes up enough will, will that fit in the wallet because so, uh, sometimes carrying cash is useful if you just want and you still want a thin wallet like this so yeah you can fit a £10 note in so you can carry cash you can't carry coins obviously it's nowhere near thick enough for that but yeah that serves a decent enough job if you want to carry a couple of cards and some cash uh, I don't think it would go with three cards because there's just simply not enough room. It may flex over time because it is leather, so you may get a bit more uh, rigor room after a while, but I wouldn't expect a lot. So, thank you for watching this review of the an unboxing of the Apple MagSafe wallet. 
I may do a longer term review if once I've used it for a while. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.